All right, welcome to another edition of AlternativeWeatherService.com. We're going to be looking at the entire country right now. First off, we have some scattered showers and thunderstorms in the Pacific Northwest. Southern California, in fact, most of California looks dry at the moment as it has been, especially last winter. We are in a drought in California. The southwestern monsoon, four corners high. You can see how these kind of rotating around the four corners area. Uh, this is starting to gain strength. So over the next three days, we'll start to get more showers and thunderstorms in areas like Phoenix, Yuma, maybe even as far west as Los Angeles. So the metro area of Southern California, yeah, you might even get some shower or isolated thunderstorm activity into that area. We have a monsoonal moisture push stationary front across texas and oklahoma bringing showers and thunderstorms to those regions and then we've got uh severe thunderstorms in um the mid-atlantic and the northeast today you can see all these yellow boxes popping up those are severe thunderstorms warning you can even see the uh, red boxes that went through pennsylvania and some of southeastern new york those are tornado warnings there was no tornado reported today, but there's a lot of severe thunderstorm activity on the area. We have two severe thunderstorm watches that I did issue uh, before these did form. Uh, first one went from uh, Maryland all the way through Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, some of Massachusetts, and southern Vermont. The next one went through New Hampshire and into uh, the state of Maine. In fact, most of the southern half of Maine, you know, those areas are going to have the severe thunderstorm activity as that boundary comes through the area. As for Tropical Storm Arthur, the stats on this sucker, about 70 mile an hour winds right now. So 70 mile an hour winds, we have about four mile an hour more to become a hurricane. In fact, in my eyes, Tropical Storm Arthur is a hurricane. Just four mile an hour difference to become a hurricane. 74 miles an hour is needed to become a hurricane. We do have the radar satellite composite for Arthur and it's moving to the north. And that track I gave it, again, it's taken that exact track. That's going to be coming towards the South Carolina coast, then turning to the northeast, and then hitting the Cape Hatteras area. I do think this is going to be a landfalling hurricane in the Cape Hatteras area. So if you're going to be traveling in this area for your 4th of July from Hatteras, Sauville, Kill Devil Hills, and Araco, uh, this area is probably going to be hit by a uh, Category 1, maybe even a you know, maybe a week two hurricane. I'm not quite sure. It's really bombing out right now. But I did issue those hurricane watches well in advance on the site. And then as it moves off the shore over the next few days, it'll hit Nova Scotia head on. As I've been saying in previous videos, just go ahead and check out the YouTube channel, Turn Water Service. Uh, on the previous videos, I've been saying that Nova Scotia is a target for this one as well. As it becomes an extra tropical system, of course, not much any uh, difference. It's just the way it's developed but it will have strong winds and torrential downpours for Nova Scotia later on in the period. So once again, just go to alternativeweatherservice.com for all your alternative weather needs.